Hi, I'm Kim, a traveling Norse pagan mom with OCD, and we are here at Kipta Peak State Park. This is a uh, new favorite state park of ours in Virginia, kind of out by on the coast. Not by the coast, it's on the coast. It's a beach campground. We've been to the beach like twice a day and it's been amazing. I thought I would just give you like a review of this campground because we, uh, we really like it. We were just talking about earlier today how impressed we've been with it. Spoiler alert. That's all you need to know. Let's chat about it. Feel free to subscribe to this YouTube channel so you don't miss out on any of the interesting or full-time travelers. Things get interesting. Airplane. Field for like soccer and stuff. So you can go play soccer. That's where the overflow parking is, but big space to go do something fun. Also boat parking apparently. So Kipto Peak State Park has uh, kind of a variety of sites. They have full hookup RV sites. They also have some that are just water and electric. And they've got tent sites. They've also got some yurts and a bunkhouse. Beach access, a lot of people do boating things. This portion of coast, ocean, beach, has the uh, concrete ghost ships. I'll leave a link in the description about that, but there's these like abandoned ghost ships out on the beach, um, husband and Ruby actually kayaked out to them because we have like an inflatable kayak and they they rowed out there, rowed like row with oars. And they do tours sometimes and things like that as like ranger programs. They didn't have any ranger programs when we were here this time, which was kind of a bummer because they had a really cool one last time. We were here last year and we went on the owl prowl. They take you on a hike at like 10 p.m. so it's dark. Didn't use any flashlights and we played owl noises to like see owls and we heard a screech owl and we also saw a great horned owl so like two thumbs up. Just a pro tip if you're in state parks take advantage of the ranger programs because the rangers are knowledgeable they know what's going on and they usually try to make it a good time for you. If you're looking for something to do check out any ranger programs they're usually a good time and always super kid friendly. I think anyway. Pretty sure that that's the bunkhouse. This campground is also super great for hikes and walking trails. Nothing strenuous, all the hikes are labeled easy, and they actually are. Like I, I get really upset when hikes are labeled easy and they're actually moderate, or if they're labeled moderate and are actually like strenuous. For just sad people like me who, <laughs> you know, sometimes have joint problems because they have chronic illness and they can't do everything that they wanna do, and anyway. All the hikes here are fairly flat, smooth, very, very smooth, very few places that's like tree rooty and rocky. Um, they're not paved, but they're kind of sandy, but not loose sand, like sandy dirt trails, really nice. And all kinds, they go just all kinds of places. They're just nice. We've been taking a nice little hike every morning before her husband has to work and it's been awesome. These are the tent sites and as you can see, they're like each one is just surrounded by trees and nature and it's just Super beautiful, lovely, really lovely. Here are the RV loops. These have hookups. Some have sewer hookup, some have just water and electric. Some of the A sites are not super level. They're, they're up on a hill a little bit. Most of the sites are pretty level though. They did a really good job with it here. They're really nice. They're really spread out. See the distance between these, between the butts of those RVs? Yeah, it's definitely move-in time. <laughs> Lots of traffic right now. Worst time to be doing this. Now that we're coming through the RV loops, let's go to the beach. Down this beautiful tree-lined road, and there is the boardwalk for the beach right there. Here's the beach. It's a little breezy around the beach than at the campground today. You can see the ghost ships I was talking about. They're so cool. Definitely a unique feature for a beach. Over there is the pier and the boat dock. See it coming out there. There's a second beach on the other side of the pier. If you want to go beachcombing for shells and the like, that's the place to go. This is the swimming beach. The swimming here is phenomenal. Let me get out of the wind and I will tell you why I love this beach. So I love this beach for many reasons, but it feels like a very safe beach. We all know I have a lot of anxieties. I do have obsessive compulsive disorder and anxiety. And I get really freaked out about beach life and like beach hazards 
jellyfish. I'm not afraid of sharks, but I'm super afraid of jellyfish, okay? Okay. I feel safe going into the water at this beach, and that's a really big deal for me. I felt safe sending my daughter out in the water. I do make her wear a life vest, though, because you can never trust the ocean. Here's one of the yurts that they have, in case you want to go yurt staying. I do want to say that, to my knowledge, this campground does not have Wi-Fi pumping out from anywhere to any campsite. We have T-Mobile cell service, great phone service, all throughout the campground, no phone service on the beach. It's like fake phone service where it tells you you have like one bar of roaming or something, but you really don't have service. As soon as you like get in from the boardwalk, service is right there. So the cell service for T-Mobile anyway was good. I think their Verizon service is good too, but I can't really speak to that. Husband, give us a review of Kipta Peak State Park Campground. Um, I like it. It's got lots to do. Um, there's a beach that's easily accessible. To get to the beach, there is a boardwalk. There's some stairs on it, so there is a way to just take a vehicle there, um, and that's... Yeah, you can park. Mm -hmm. yeah, and you can park right there, right by the beach, like if you couldn't walk the stairs up and down. Lots of biking. There's a lot of trails. I don't know how many miles, but uh, it, th th they're nice. They're kind of in the woods so they're all shaded and they're all flat so they're easy. We saw deer, snakes, lots of osprey. Uh, so th there is pl plenty of li wildlife to see. You have to go through the uh, Chesapeake Bay Bridge. Depending. Oh yeah, that's a toll bridge. Like you have to go through the toll bridge to get here. If you're coming from south of here, you would have to go through that toll bridge which for just a motorhome was $21 one way. But Yeah, without a tow car. Yeah, I don't know what it would cost for a tow car, probably more than that. But it, uh, if you had to go around that, it would cost you way more than fuel. Overall, great uh, campground. So two thumbs up for Kiptipi? Yes. Oh yeah, we love it. We'll be back probably in the fall. We'll probably come back and do the hawk sure. migration because I'm an enthusiast. You are. <laughs> Okay, there's giggling girls next to me. Ruby found a friend with our neighbor, so they are running amok and having a great time. I highly recommend coming here in the early, mid-fall, coming in the fall for the migratory bird raptors, the hawk migration that comes through here. It is just a fantastic experience, especially if you're into nature and wildlife. I'm hoping we can come back this fall for some uh, birding because I'm into birds. Let's chat about Kipta Peak State Park Campground. Lots of RV sites, lots of tent sites, yurts, and a bunkhouse. RV sites with water and electric, and they have RV sites with full hookups, which is where we're at, and we love it. T-Mobile service is good. Can't speak to any other cell service providers, but our T-Mobile service has been fantastic, except for right on the beach. RV sites are level for the most part. The A loop has some that are on an incline, so just be aware. Uh, double check all that if you're booking here. Beach access is fantastic. There are so many things to do here. Tons of hiking, lots of beach, boating, all that good stuff. So a fantastic state park here in Virginia. We really, really love it. To see my vlog about all the stuff that we've done here, inside look at all the fun we had here at Kipta Peak State Park, you can click or tap right up here. And for just more of my face, you can click or tap right down here. Thank you so much for being here. Go be weird. It's super fun.